Okay, here's a couple of questions uh, dealing with uh, trig rotations or angular or radian rotations. It says find two positive uh, angles uh, and two negative angles that are coterminal, wind up in the same spot as 74 degrees. So if you look at 74 degrees, it's probably right about there. So that's 74 degrees. So I want to get other angles that wind up in the same spot. Well, one easy one would be a negative one. So if I, instead of starting here and going up, if I start there and go backwards to here, that would be one of them. And to get that one, it would be a whole rotation, so it would be 360, take away the 74 degrees. So that would be, uh, I think, 286 degrees. Oh, and it's going backwards, so it would be negative. So negative 286 would be one negative angle. Then you could do the wrapping thing so that you go around twice. So you go around once, that's 360, plus another 286. So um, 360 plus another 286. What would that be? 6 uh, and a 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. So 646 degrees, again it's backwards, so it'd be negative 646. So there's two negative ones, let's do positive ones, let's do blue for positive. So a positive one, oh, I have 74 degrees already, but what if I go around once and then to the 74, right to there. So that would be 360 plus 74, and what's that come out to, 434? And that's a positive angle because I was going around counterclockwise. And then another one, you just go around another time. Let's go, say, with black. Well, I'll, I'll just draw another one. So here's my 74. So I'm going to go around once, that's 360. Around again, that's 720, plus another 74. So 720 plus 74, what does that come out to? 794? So there's two negative ones and two positive ones. All right, another question, I guess sort of related to that, is it, well, maybe not related, is find the six trig functions for the angle shown. So here I've got an angle, and they have it going around twice, but it doesn't matter. Like, you can just go around once. Um, but they want to know what the six trig functions are. So they want to know what the sine of that angle is, the cosine of the angle, and the tangent of that angle. Okay, so sine is going to be y over r, cos is x over r, and tan is y over x. So the point they give me is negative 12, 5. Well, that's an x and a y value. So wherever I see a y value, I can put in a 5. Uh, since it's above the axis, I'm putting in a positive 5 there over r. Well, I don't know what that is. Uh, well, maybe let's figure it out. So I know that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So I've got 12. The x is negative 12 squared. And the y is 5 squared equals r squared. 12 squared is 144 plus 5 squared is 25. So if I add those together, that's 169 r squared. So r is going to be a positive or negative square root of 169, which is 13. Now, r is always positive, so I can get rid of the negative there. It's just going to be a positive 13. Okay, so wherever I see an r, I can put a 13. Here's another r, put a 13, uh, none there. x, my x value is negative 12. So there's cos. And then tan, uh, the y value is 5. And the x is negative 12. I could rewrite that as negative 5 over 12 like that if I wanted to. It's not a bad idea to keep the minus with the thing that is negative. And the x, because I'm going to the left here, is negative, so it would be negative. So those are three of the trig ratios, and then they want the reciprocal ones. So sine and cosecant are reciprocals of each other. So um, the reciprocal of sine then will be 13 over 5. And then the reciprocal of cos is 
is uh, secant, and secant will be 13 over negative 12. And then finally, the reciprocal of tan is cotan, and the reciprocal of that will be uh, 12 over negative 5. Again, the negatives, you can rewrite them on the top. That's sort of where they are proper, where some people put them right in the middle, like that. Any location for that negative sign there is fine. All right, uh, I think that's it. Hopefully that helps.